Hello everyone! What on earth is this auto completion that I'm using? If you know the answer, skip this video. If not, then I'll show you Fig.io, the auto completion tool that I'm using here. This is the number one question that came up after my last video. What on earth is that auto completion that you're using and how do I get it? So Fig.io is only for Macs at the moment and it's really a very good auto completion tool. It's open source. It has some weird oddities that I would touch on in this video, but overall I like it a lot. Let me show you how it works. So of course, uh, type kubectl. Um, that's just for their bash completion. I don't think they're doing anything clever there yet. Um, now I finished that so I can hit tab. Shows me the different commands I can do. Uh, I'll take get, hit tab again. Now notice how this suddenly changed. This is something that I understand why it's happening. I'm not crazy about it, but a lot of times for auto completion, it has to do some round trip with the server to understand what the options are. For example, when you run kubectl get pods, actually in order to know that I can run the pods command here, it has to check with the server and has to see which different APIs this Kubernetes server supports. For example, I have here um, volume snapshots and those aren't necessarily present on every single Kubernetes server. So when I type here, get pods, then it's actually fetching a list of all the resources. So if we do this again, I'm gonna hit tab, notice how it's loading down there. And then only after it finishes loading is this list available. So the good side is you can get all the completion for everything. The bad side is, and the first big quirk is that if I type here POD and I hit tab, well, actually it worked that time, but sometimes I'll hit tab here and it won't know how to auto complete it because it hasn't fetched the list from the server yet. That said, let's go on, hit enter to accept an auto completion recommendation. Let me just clear the crap down below. So kubectl get, here's an example. Here's why I was talking about. See, I hit tab and at first it fails because it hasn't fetched this from the server yet. Okay, so get pods. Now I can hit tab again, fetches a list of uh, pods that are relevant, robust runner the open source project I work on, check it out as always, uh, minus O, um, I can output as YAML, uh, JSON. This is actually very cool for discovery because I didn't know that I could output it as a Go template. In fact, I don't even know what a template is. So let's try that. Um, template format specified, but no template given. Um, let's see if it's smart enough to tell me what to do here. Okay, so I have to give some templates. So let's do it differently. Um, let's do minus O. What other options do I have here? And let's see. Okay, we'll just do JSON. Uh, so dump that to test that JSON. Now the next cool feature here is it does auto complete for stuff on the file system too. So I can say that's a cat test.json. And of course it auto completes that. I could do dot dot. Then it will show me stuff one up as well. Um, so this is a feature that I really love. Um, overall, my experience with Fig is extremely positive. I recommend you check it out. Um, it, like I said, there are a few small quirks here, uh, some edge cases like you saw in this video. But I imagine they're going to fix that stuff, and it's something I really love. That's all for today. Take care. Have a nice weekend.